EA just patched Madden 22, and this is now the best route combination that you can use in this game. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We upload multiple videos every single day here on the channel. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you literally the best route combination in Madden 22 post-patch. Um, there was a patch released yesterday, and this comes to us out of the New England Patriots offensive playbook. The play we're going to be looking at today is PA counter go. And the reason that this play is is so good is because before the patch was released if you were to streak your tight end your tight end would do a little like fade to the right and it wouldn't pull every zone vertically a lot of times people could run cover four with a high level of success and other issues that kind of held with this was that you could not threaten the seams on both sides of the trips tight end with the latest patch they reversed it and made streaks very effective, especially to the tight end. So I'm going to break down this route combination for you. What you want to do is you want to run this with your trips to the short side of the field for best results. Because what's going to happen is it's going to give your tight end more room to work over the middle of the field. And it's going to give your deep crosser more room to be able to work over to the sideline. So what we're going to do is very simple route combination. We're going to streak our tight end. We're going to flat the triangle receiver. And we're going to put the square receiver on a smart routed in route. This is an air raid concept as well. It's known as Y cross. Um, it's been a popular concept in pretty much any air raid offense in the um, in college, in the NFL, in high schools. Very popular concept. And what you're going to see here is at the snap of the ball, we are going to be able to hit our crosser on the sideline. Now, if you notice right there, it's about 30 yards to be able to stop this most of the time, especially if they try to run a 30-yard cloud. The cloud will suck into the tight end streak. That's another reason why this streak is so effective because the streak, as you notice right there, got up the seam really, really, really fast. Now, the other thing about this route combination that makes it so good is one of the most popular ways that people like to defend trips tied in is by using a Mabel coverage just like this right here. And what you're going to notice is if their user goes to the left side of the screen at the first, at like the stamp of the ball, what you're going to notice here is I can just snap throw this streak right up the seam, break a tackle, and have an instant you know 15 to 20 yard gain. So you always have that threat of being able to do that. Another popular defense that a lot of people like to use in Madden 22 is a uh, simple five-man pressure that a lot, most almost anyone in this game would love to run. And basically, what it does is essentially, especially against trip trips tight end, um, because the blocking's different than from bunch. Uh, what you're going to see is this five-man kind of cover two pressure, pinch two style of defense. Well, what you're going to notice is you can inside pass like this and cut this off against a deep half for easy, easy gains. And so, again, what happens is this is going to pull their user from being able to use her on the left side of the field where all three of your receivers are. Now they have to respect you on the right side. And so what that's going to lead to is a defense that basically looks essentially like what I'm about to show you right here. Um, and what that looks like is this. So we're going to have a, um, a purple zone. And just to illustrate this real quickly, uh, I'm going to put this guy into a cloud flat. We're going to have a purple zone there. And then we're going to have a vertical hook. And then we're going to basically use her with our, with our user, the tight end and then obviously we're going to assume that they're going to go from the tight end to the crosser now what you're going to see happen is this is going to open up this left side route combo what you're going to see on this left side is this dig is going to come underneath everything at late on in the play and as you can see it's able to get open now another thing that i wanted to quickly point out is one of the most popular things that people are doing um, especially from trying to defend trips tight end, for example, is they're going to use her over here. They might shift their D line like this to try to stop the run. And then what you're going to see on this backside is more than likely some type of Mabel coverage. They might even put a, a yellow zone over here, but more than likely you're going to see a you know traditional Mabel coverage. On this side, this guy's going to be in what's known as a 30 yard cloud flat. Now I can't show that in this uh, practice mode because we don't have zone drops but what so you know kind of to illustrate what you're going to see here this guy is going to be back here okay he's going to be back in here so just for the purposes of the video here i am going to just kind of move him out of the way uh, just to try to kind of illustrate something that i want to show you um, with how this is going to work so what's going to happen is they're going to have to use a curl flat if you try to use a curl flat to defend the deep crossers the curl flats almost always suck in so people have to use cloud flats um, because they get more to the outside. So what you're going to see here within this route combination is this curl flat zone or curl flat defender. Even if it's zone dropped at five yards, you're going to see that this dig route is going to pull it inside and I can hit this flat over and over again. And as you can see right there, 
Um, I hit that flat and got about 15, uh, 10 to 15 yards. You're going to get about 10 to 15 yards every single time. So the beauty of this is you really put the defender in a bind because they can't they can't just sit over there on the left side and try to use your in route with the hard flat, right, which is what they want to do. What most people want to do is this. They want to go to cover four, um, and then what they want to do is they want to play hard flats, and then they want to basically have this guy right here as the user, and they're going to use the dig route, okay? So what that's going to do for your route combination right here, if you look, this uh, deep crosser, because that streak gets more vertical, now that cover four can't defend that. So that's one of the most important things to realize. So uh, anyways, this is by far, in my personal opinion, the best route combination in the entire game. Now you might be sitting there thinking, I've heard a lot about trips tied in, but I don't see a lot of people running it. If you want to learn my full trips tied in offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link in the, in the description below to my Patreon. When you sign up for my Patreon, it's just 10 bucks a month, and you're going to get instant access to every ebook that I've released. So far in the Madden 22 season, we have released 13 ebooks. We've got eight defenses and five offenses. One of the offenses is this Trips Tied In out of New England. So if you want to learn uh, all of that stuff, again, it's only 10 bucks. I'm going to put a link in the description below and you can sign up today for just 10 bucks. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you guys next time.